What is good mga ka champion and welcome back to another video. For today's video guys, I will just address one question from one of our subscribers dito sa YouTube. And ano nga ba yun? So sabi niya, Coach, palagi ba dapat i-update yung key levels? Okay? So for today's video, i-share ko sa inyo why and tuwing kailan nyo dapat i-update yung inyong mga key levels kung saan time frame man. Alright? So again, thank you so much to all my TFP VIP champion students all over the globe subscribers and followers at sa lahat po ng sumusuporta. Ah. Alright? So again, without further ado, let's get straight to our charts. Alright. So, sabi nga natin, no? Uh, tuwing kailan ba tayo dapat mag-update ng key level at saan? Okay? Tandaan nyo, guys, whenever we we are updating our key levels, ano nga ba unang tanong nyo sa sarili nyo? Saan key level ba yun? Okay? So, sabi nga natin, we have three combinations when it comes to style ng trading. May it be swing trade, day trade, or scalping. So, syempre, when we talk about key levels, magtatalo dyan if you are trading short term, okay, day trading man, or ano, long term. Okay? So, the question is, ano nga ba yung opportunity na binibigay sa'yo ng market? So, kung ikaw ay, syempre, kung ikaw ay uh, swing trade, definitely, your key level would be on a daily time frame. Alright? On the other hand, kapag naman ikaw ay day trading, uh, more or less, your key levels would be on for hours. And kapag ikaw naman ay mag scalp or short-term trade, at least meron kang hourly or H1 key level. Okay? So for now, uh, mapakita natin how are we going to update key levels at kung anong opportunity ang binibigay sa atin ngayon ng market. Right? So again, first things first, para sa mga beginners, intermediate, para na rin sa mga advanced. Okay? So again, sabi nga natin, uh, we have to find first our market structure and trend. Ano nga ba ang trend ng market ngayon? Okay? So, if we're going to analyze this, so the market went up, okay, from this move, then went down from the series of uh, lower low, lower highs. So, over tayo that initially, yung group natin from this point of view is bearish. However, <laughs> during the transition, may mga binirake na uh, lower highs itong market natin. So, hence, this is our gray area. So, sabi natin, I'm just grouping now based dun sa mga ginagawa ko normally from my past videos na ginugroup natin yung ating uh, structures into trends. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong bearish, meron tayong consolidation phase, and the only time na nagkaroon lang tayo ng bullish confirmation or potential bull run is from this view. Okay? Nung nagkaroon tayo ng, what? Break of this lower high. So, instead na ang naging cycle is lower low, lower high, ang nangyari is nagkaroon ng bagong high. Okay? So, however, it is not an impulsive move from this long-term move. Bakit? Ang nangyari is nagkaroon muna ng consolidation phase. So, meaning this is a gray area. Okay? And the only time nagkaroon tayo ng confirmation is nung nag-breakout na yung market forming this uh, bull run. Okay? So, this would be the bullish market. So, ngayon, I can say that the market is what? The market is bullish. Okay? So, I'll just delete everything at least at this point of view. Okay? So, ngayon, ang tanong is, nasa ng key level natin ngayon? And ano yung opportunity? So, there's a common mistake ng mga beginners or traders as of now na whenever the market sees a breakout or kapag ang naita na market merong impulsive move pataas, the normal instinct would be to buy. And then you guys, use common sense in whatever transaction you want. Okay? So, tandaan natin, trading is all about transactions of buying and selling. So, uh, if I would take out myself out of this technical analysis and I would just go somewhere else, okay? For example, I want to buy something. Normally, I would buy something that is, what? Cheaper. Okay? Or something that is of a discount. Diba? So, the market is currently on a bull run, meaning the market is getting expensive. So in that sense, logically, I don't want to buy. Okay? So however, the majority or retails is thinking this market as a buy opportunity. Okay? It may be in the long run, but as of now, tandaan nyo guys, this is on a daily time. This is on a perspective wherein market can go on a series of up, down, up, down. So... My thinking is, if there is an impulsive move up, ibig sabihin, nag-form siya ng new high. So, by market structure, 
diba? Nature ng price. Normally, if this is a bullish trend talaga, it will create a higher what? Higher low. So definitely, hindi pa nangyari. But as of now, logically speaking, and using just my common sense, I don't want to buy kapag ang market ay nagmamahal. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, I want the market na uh, magkaroon tayo ng, ng opportunity na mabili yan ng mura. Okay? Alam natin, the market is bullish. Nevertheless, we want to buy at a discount. We want to buy at a much cheaper price. So, in this sense, okay, is, is there any opportunity for me to buy at a discount? No. Diba? So, ang point ko dito, if there's no opportunity yet for a discount, maybe we can look for a counter trend trading okay, since nasa long term tayo and capitalize probably and look for opportunities maybe short term. So, I want to capitalize on this formation ng ano, lower high. So, instead na bilhin ko yan habang mahal ang price, why not sell it? Diba? Okay, so, ngayon magmamato yung mga key levels. So, nasan ngayon yung current price? So, syempre, dead end ngayon yan, what you can do is simply look saan? Sa kaliwa. Diba? So, that's the, that's the common sense. So, if I were to plot some key levels sa kaliwa, kung makita natin, merong mga, ano, may mga multiple reactions along the way. So, simply, we can say that the market is on a significant what? Resistance. In that sense. Okay? I'm not saying na uh, ayan yung line ng representing si snow. Resistance is simply a range. Okay? Tandaan nyo, guys. We cannot plot support and resistance uh, exactly. So, which means, sabi nga natin, uh, resistance levels are range of market prices where it has multiple reactions. So, ito, may mga reactions dito, may mga reactions, may mga reactions. So, it is safe to say I'm currently on a resistance level. So, again, sabi nga natin, if you are on a resistance, definitely want to sell. So, that is why you have to look for structures, you have to look for key levels left and right. Okay? Current price and past historical data. Of course, yung grouping na rin. So, aware ako na nasa resistance ako. So, definitely, I will look for opportunity as a sell. But take note, I am on a group of bullish run. So, tandaan natin, the group currently is on a bull run. But the opportunity na pinoprovide sa akin ng market ngayon is not a buying. Kasi, we want to buy low. However, market is still on a peak. Ibig sabihin, mahal pa yung presyo. So, what I can do is look for opportunity as sa sell. Okay? So, that's how I think whenever I look for opportunity. Hindi dahil uptrend, uh, bibili ako. Hindi dahil downtrend, sell ako. So, it's all about logical reasoning why we buy and sell at the same time. Okay? It is not always about trend is your friend concept. Okay? So, now, I will look for a sell opportunity. So, anong gagawin ko? Ngayon na magmamatter yung mga ginagawa natin na past historical data, past previous candle highs and lows. So, aware natin, aware tayo, aware tayo that the uh, past data or previous candle uh, highs and lows is ito. Ito yung low natin. Okay? And mer meron siyang kalapit na ano? Meron siyang kalapit na isa pang low. So, technically speaking, Normally, kapag ka ganyan, but oh, halos dikit na sila, no? I take this as a, as a range. Diba? So, meaning, ito yung uh, would act as a, ano, act as a support later on sa so lower time frame. Tandaan nyo, significant tong mga weeks, lalo na kapag ka nasa higher time frame ka. Dahil, sa so lower time frame, it would break down into structures of candles. So, kaya, importante na, ano, Importante na malaman din natin yung highs and lows ng market. So, since I want to sell, I don't need to put the previous highs dun sa market. Kasi what I want is a break what of this of this low. So, ibig sabihin, I want to break momentum of buyers throughout this bull run. So, on the other hand, I can also incorporate some confluences like trend lines on this higher time frame. So, alam nyo na, yung gagawin natin, so... If you are looking for a buy or long uh, long opportunity, di ba? Using TFPY system, you must be ano, you must be above support level. You must be above what uh, trend line support. Or if meron kang counter trend line resistance, you must be above. But nevertheless, ang pinoprovide lang sa atin, confluence sa market ngayon is simply itong area. So may buying area for long term would be di ba? As a sell naman, since meron tayong range dito ng uh, 
support that pag nabasa would probably a resistance. So definitely, my selling opportunity as a long term would be dito. So it's the same process what I'm doing from my past videos. But nevertheless, I'm sh I will show you how we can uh, adjust or update our key levels pagdating sa short term opportunity. Okay, it's be myself. So right. So that's how we plot for long term opportunity. So as of now, sabi nga. Wala namang opportunity ang market ngayon as a buy or sell to swing. So, what I can do, I look for lower time frame. So, tignan natin kung may significance yung, ano, yung market. Okay, punta tayo sa 4 hours. Okay. So, over tayo, this is the the support area na kailangan natin basagin. Okay. So, ngayon, sabi nga, incorporating yung ating uh, previous candle support, previous candle highs and lows. So, ito yung lows natin currently. Sa 4 hours, diba? Iyan yung previous candle low. Diba? Okay, let's say that. On a 4 hour, diba? 4 hour yan. So, ngayon, what I want is a break of this previous candle low. Para masabi ko na is there any momentum na ng sellers? Kasi currently, kung makita natin, puro bullish yan. And I want to sell nga on a, on, a, on a perspective ng logical reasoning. So, ibig sabihin, I don't have any reason para mag-sell as of now. And if this will continue, again, I will look for opportunity as a buy dun nga sa higher time frame. So, nevertheless, those are just speculations as of now. Wala pang confirmation. So, hindi pa pwedeng uh, tayo mag-execute ng kahit anong trade. We are just analyzing based on probabilities and ano possibilities. So, ngayon, meron tayong previous candle low. What I want is a break. So, tingnan natin ang nangyari. Okay. So, instead na magkaroon ng momentum change going down, magkaroon pa ng another bullish candle, which means this is still a bull run. So, ibig sabihin, may momentum pa yung buyer. So, that is where ina-update ko yung ano, yung aking key level. Okay. Tandaan nyo, yung line na, yung line na to, okay, is significant yan sa lower time frame. So, from here, i-move po to dito. Okay? That is where the updating of key level happens. Bakit? Sir, line, quick lang naman po yan eh. No, tignan mo siya sa 5 minutes. It would make sense na yun ay ano, support level. Okay? Kung makita nyo, bakit siya support level? Check the past historical data. Ito yung, ito yung week na low ng previous candle ko sa 4 hours. Sa 5 minutes, ito yung view. Makita nyo, may merong, may mga reactions. ba? Ibig sabihin, it is true that this level na weak natin sa previous 4-hour low candle, okay, yung lows ng previous candle na yun, is actually significant siya from the lower time frame. So, kaya it serves as a support. So, yun sinasabi ko na, for simplicity's sake, ba? I use the highs and lows of the previous candle as may support saan? Sa lower sa lower time frame. So, tandaan natin, okay, ang goal ko ngayon is mabasag to. Okay? Para, which means, merong weakness na ng momentum. Ibig sabihin, meron ng presence ng sellers. As of now, they're all buyers for me. So, there's no reason for me to sell as of now. So, in-update natin yung ating uh, support level or key level dun sa lower time frame. So, ngayon, Check natin ano nangyari. Okay? So, is there a break? Wala pa. But nevertheless, makita nyo, meron ng momentum change. Kasi imbis na nagkaroon ng bullish, nagkaroon siya ng ano, bearish candle. Which means, merong weakness of momentum ng buyers. So, may presence na ng sellers as of now. So, however, there's no confirmation based sa ating system rules na mag-sell. So, for me, it is not yet a good evidence na ako ay mag-execute or bumaba pa ng lower time frame. I want a clear break from my momentum ng buyers. So, I will still retain my, may ano, my key level dito sa, from this bullish candle. Okay? Uh, I want to break this previous candle low sa 4 hours. So, ibig sabihin, I will retain this key level dahil ito yung significant sa bullish run na yan. So, what I want is, what? A break of that. So, hanggat din nangyari yan, I will still observe the market or move on to other pairs if medyo matagal pa mag time. So, let's check what happened. Alright. So, there is a clear momentum change 
and presence ng sellers. Bakit? There's sudden surge ng sellers as of this point. Big lang nabasag yung ating key level. So at this point, meron na akong interest mag-sell dahil ang goal ko ngayon is a seller. So it is not wise na mag-execute ako right away. I want to satisfy system goals when it comes to execution. Okay? So I will go down sa one hour to check in structure ng market. Okay? Para masatisfy yung goals natin. So tingnan natin. So kung makita nyo, no? meron tayong break of momentum from coming from buyers going to sellers. So yung significant na week ko kanina that acting as support sa 5 minutes, okay, have been broken. So does this satisfies my system rules pagdating sa execution natin? Not yet. So I will incorporate some influences. So lagay lang kayo ng trendline para makita nyo sa inyong high probability trading execution nyo or HPT zone as as a sell. Okay? So sabi natin, magkaroon tayo ng uh, area of confluence okay, or HPT zone natin pagdating sa uh, lower time frame. So anong gagawin ko ngayon? I will have to wait for ano, for the market pumunta sa high probability trading zone ko which is around this area. Bakit? Uh, based sa system, I must be below ng counter trail and support and below nitong resistance. So ibig sabihin niyan, my area or HPT zone as an execution or trading execution would be this as a sell. Okay? So, of course, waiting game happens but importante is we want to look for quality trades rather than just impulsively trading. Diba? Hindi porket alam na natin yung HPT zone na dito as a sell, eh, right away we're going to execute. No. We still have to satisfy system rules in terms of execution. So, tingnan natin ang nangyari. Okay? Is there any significant uh, selling pressure candle. Uh, tandaan nyo guys, yung past video ko regarding di ba, fake signals, okay? lalo na yung mga doji, be aware of that. So, tingnan natin. Okay? So, is there any bullish, uh, is there any momentum ng sellers as of this point? Uh, I don't think so. It's, it, I want to look for obvious selling pressure candle or inverse hammer in that sense or shooting star. Okay? So, not yet. Okay. Tandaan nyo, nagkaroon ng doji. So, tandaan nyo, pag doji is an indecision pagdating sa market, ibig sabihin, there's an equal buyers and sellers. So, naglalaban pa yung mga buyers and sellers at this point. So, you have to be patient enough, makakita ka ng at least uh, a clue or ano, a ob an, obvious, an obvious pattern of selling pressure candle. Okay. As of now, for me, these are just rejections, but nevertheless, these are equal battle or indecision pagdating sa point of view niyan. So, I want to see a selling pressure candle. Okay, wala pa. So, there's momentum, but again, what I want is a clear selling pressure candles. So, tandaan nyo, we can now put some confluences pagdating sa trend lines. Okay, let's see. Tingnan natin. Okay. So, there's market momentum going up. Ibig sabihin niya, strong pa rin yung momentum ng, ano, ng buyers. So, definitely, you don't want to sell sa ganyang market as of now. You want to have a clear confluence or signal pagdating sa pressure candle. Okay. Now, what happens? I will update my trend line kasi meron ng equal, di ba? May equal highs. So, it is safe to say na I will update this as my trend line resistance. So, ibig sabihin niyan, okay, Ngayon, mas maganda dahil nag-form na yung uh, hinihintay natin confluence pagdating sa system, which is ano, break ng counter trail line support. Okay? Uh, we have a break of horizontal support na currently will act now as a resistance and we are now below ng ano, ng trend line system. So, ibig sabihin, ang tumbok natin na ito. So, which means, this is a good signal candle for us to sell. But, am I going to execute now? Hindi. Okay? Tandaan nyo, we are trading short term. So, I can look for day trade opportunity. But as of now, I just want a short term trade para mapakita sa inyo that uh, the market can offer short term opportunities kahit ang market is pataas. So, that is one also concept na gusto natin i-explain to you guys na trend is your friend is not always the thing pagdating sa opportunity. You can look for opportunity as counter, counter trade. So, ngayon, Yung view na to, 
Itingnan natin yan sa lower time frame, execution time frame natin. Kasi, besides, nasa loob na rin ako ng, ano, ng HPT sell ko. So, I am on a high probability selling area. So, mas gusto ko lang mas maganda yung risk to reward. So, kaya bababa pa ako ng mas mawabang time frame for me to scalp the market on a 5-minute execution. So, pupunta tayo ng 5 minutes. Okay. Tingnan natin yung view. Okay. So, again, unang tingin pa lang, alam mo na dapat anong gagawin nyo pagdating sa system. Again, confluence-wise, I have to break this counter trend line support. Okay? So, that's my goal. Since nasa below na ako ng trend line resistance, nasa below na ako ng at least, uh, we can say this is a uh, an area of resistance as well. And I must be breaking now, alin lang, itong counter trend line support, which is yung hinihintay natin confirmation. So, let's see what happens. Okay? Let's check. Okay, so there's a break. Dito nangyayari yung break. Okay, dyan nangyayari yung break. So, ibig sabihin, we are now on a high probability confirmation uh, as a sell. But take note, we want to have a mark of HPT trading zone area or execution area. So, tandaan nyo, I am now executing sa mas mababang time frame, which is yung 5 minutes. So, I must look for a reasonable area of ano, a selling uh, HPT zone. So, if I would go into detail, diba? maybe this area would be a good spot for me to sell. Bakit? Tandaan nyo. Confluence-wise, I am now below this trendline resistance on a much higher time frame. I have broken this counter trendline support on this time frame. And I think I am on an area of average price ng ano, resistance. So, we have two ways to execute the trade. One is use what? a sell limit order. Ibig sabihin, nakaabang ka na. So, I may place a sell limit order here around this area. Okay? Stop loss just below that trend line resistance. And 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio would be enough to lessen yung greed and at the same time would give you a beneficial returns pagdating sa trade nito. So, you don't have to be greedy. We have two way of how we can execute this trade. One is using the sell limit para hindi na kayo ma-stress. Okay? So, just 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. Okay? That will be enough. And, uh, again, another is, kapag ka nagpunta din ng price, look for selling pressure ka nil, and you can just use market execution. But, nevertheless, both are, ano, uh, valid. Okay? So, I can use sell limit order here. Okay? A 1 is to 3. But, if you want more, uh, more potential pagdating sa gains, di ba? Punta lang kayo na much higher time frame, like 1 hour. So, range, uh, one hour to one hour range lang naman tayo. So, or, tandaan nyo, you can use this or simply see, on a hard time frame, naalala nyo to, ito yung glow na previous candle saan? Sa daily, di ba? Or four hours, I believe it's the daily. Okay, yung daily na yan. So, you can use that as target in the long run. So, you go to this uh, time frame, di ba? Extend nyo lang or simply place another sell limit. Okay, gagawa tayo ng, ng isa pang sell limit. You now have the option to have a two running trades. Split your risk into half, for example. The first one is three is 1.5% and the other one is 1.5% 1. if you are 3% risk per trade. But, it's up to you kung mag ilan yung risk uh, appetite nyo, ba? Risk percentage nyo, allocation. So, pwede nyo extend yan. Or simply, as another option, ba? Pwede kayong ano, uh, kapag na-hit na yung 50% na inyong target, or simply, uh, pwede kayong mag-partial profit. Okay? So, the point here is, you are now have the flexibility to trade or TP where you want. But for me, personally, I just use this as my, what? as my target kasi that's my practice of uh, having that less greed sa side ko para I don't expect too much diba? pwede kasing gumanin yan and I, will, I may lose the trade but nevertheless since I follow the system I will just let it run so my sweet spot would be around this level kasi tumbok na tumbok yan plus I'm selling on a much higher price kasi impulsively I don't want to sell right away diba? we don't want to think like that we want to sell at a much higher price so dito tayo around this area kaya Diyan ako maglalagay ng sell limit. So, let us, let the market run. Tignan natin.
Okay? Na-tag ka na dito, meaning na-triggered ka na dyan. Okay? So, our tayo na na-trigger yung dalawa nating uh, limit order. So, ibig sabihin, you have two running trades as of now. Okay? So, let's just check ano yung nangyari all throughout the market. Okay? So, you see, uh, if I'm going to adjust, ba? We have took profit dun sa ating 1 is a 3 risk to reward ratio. And dun sa pangalwa, not quite, but tingin natin ano yung nangyari in the long run. See, both have took profit. Both have uh, winning trades as of this point. So, ibig sabihin yan, nag-materialize yung trade based dun sa ating analysis. So, which means, logical reasoning at the same time, knowing where you adjust yung inyong support assistance would really matter kasi alam mo dapat ano yung mga key levels mo at this point. So, again, this is just an example to address yung ating concern uh, from our one of our subscribers. Again, this is something na pwede nyo matutunan as you apply this to your own trading. Again, if we're going to see sa higher time frame, di ba? Like, 4 hours. There's a strong momentum na ano, pababa siya. But that doesn't mean, okay, on a higher time frame, that doesn't mean na continuous variation. Okay? So, tandaan nyo, we have to satisfy pa rin yung ating system rules, but nevertheless, we are just trading based on what the market is offering us. So, again, I hope nasagot yung tanong doon na tuwing kailan tayo mag adjust ng ating key levels or palagi ba tayo mag -adjust? Again, we have to adjust whenever the market updates. Kasi bakit? Uh, market is very uncertain and maraming moves sa market na hindi natin napipredict. And we don't need to predict the market. We just have to be reactive. So sabi nga, when there is uh, an opposite momentum weakening, ibig sabihin, that's the time we have to really observe ano yung gagawin ng market. So again, this is just a short tutorial videos on how you can apply logical reasoning to buy or sell and simply knowing where and how and when to update your key levels. So again, key levels are, are part of the market structure pero dapat alam nyo kung nasan kayo may it be swing trade, day trade, or scalp, right? So again, thank you so much. I hope may natutunan naman kayo. See you all on the next videos. God bless. Thank you so much to all my TFP, VIP champion students all over the globe, subscribers, and followers. So, bye-bye. So, I just want to inform and announce that our TFP VIP champion student private Discord community is already up. And yeah, here we have several channels wherein we share our technical trading ideas among each other. And uh, of course, we also have our weekly trade ideas para sa ating mga weekly forecast para sa mga currency pairs. And some announcement section. And of course, since tayo ay global, of course, uh, we have other students as well na galing sa mga ibang bansa overseas so we here we introduce ourselves and introduce kung saan tayo galing sa bansa tayo ngayon o if double man o hindi but nevertheless uh, this is a healthy community para mag-share ng mga trading ideas para sa inyo guys and hopefully I will be putting up a server publicly para sa mga baguhan naman and those mga followers and subscribers natin alright so yeah this is just a minor announcement and hopefully guys you can join us and uh, make this community grow, lalo na sa ating mga uh, sujante nag aral Alright guys, so mga baguhan pa lang. But nevertheless, uh, everyone here wants to learn, wants to make profit from the market. But as much as possible, we're all equal in the eyes of the market. Alright guys, so that would be it. So yun lang, and uh, thank you very much. Alright, bye-bye.